I love Jameis Winston. I love the Saints. They're one of my if they're not they're one of the teams I definitely root for on a year to year basis in football. But this team is not an eight. This team is going on an eight. This team is missing the playoffs. The Saints to me, when talking about take. when talking about Jameis Winston, I like him. I just can't trust him. And that's ultimately what's gonna cost him. Man, do you ever you stand do you ever stand yeah, on bro. something? Have you, you ever stood on something? Wait, you can't trust him. Have, you, a franchise quarterback. have you ever stood on something? Did you not call him a franchise quarterback? I was in the heat of the moment. Okay. I, I, I'm not look, I can't really trust Jameis Winston like that. I like Jameis Winston, I do, and I want to believe in him. I look at the Saints offensive line. Trevor Penning was their pick. He's not gonna start and rightfully so. Because even when he was on the field, I mean, he didn't look too good. His preseason grade was pretty good, from what I remember. Yeah, he was but like one of the highest turn on the down four to six weeks. Yeah, no, no, I know he's hurt. Yeah. No, I'm talking about turn on the tape, and he wasn't really that good. <laughs> turn on the tackle tape, Drew. Come on, I turn guess on right. Tackle. No, he was getting a beat on pass pro a lot. He was he was good as a run blocker though. Um, I think their offensive line has gotten worse in years past. They did lose to Ron Armstead. The receiver room is it's, it's cute, right? I mean, Michael Thomas. Are you going to count on him being healthy? Who knows. Jarvis Landry, I think he's a shell of who he once was. I think Chris Olave really has to have the big time year amongst their receivers. So the only issue that I have here is that you know you're you're trusting Minnesota's defense. You're projecting them to be good, be healthy, but he and can't be the best. The Saints. No, but then Michael Thomas, you never know. He could be hurt. And he's healthy week one. That's all we could ask for. This is the first time in a few years where you could say that. Well, it's healthy week one. The Vikings, I think, like Zadarius have, Smith was their big addition. He missed almost the entire season. The last Viking, year. well, he wasn't on the team last year. I understand that. I know, but that's what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. Okay, he could have played last year, but he had no money left on his deal. He didn't want to play for the Packers. He was, I think, he he could have played in the playoffs. The thing, I just like the Vikings better, and for me, the Saints, they have a tough schedule. It's not as easy as the Vikings schedule. It is a tough the schedule. Saints have a tough schedule. And you look at the quarterbacks they play, I don't trust Jameis Winston to outdo those quarterbacks. I understand their defense is great. It is. Cameron Jordan is one of the best edge rushers in the NFL. Marcus Davenport had one of the top pressure rates in the NFL in the league last year. The secondary looks nice. DeMario but ultimately, Davis is a savage. Yeah, of course. Look, their defense is phenomenal. I know Marcus May got arrested. Their defense is phenomenal. I know their defense is legit. Tyron Matthew comes in. But personally, I just don't believe the offense is going to play at that high of a level on a week to week basis. Be they, a have the, thing. they have the talent. And even and look, I think Jameis has a good season. I think he has a good season. Do I think he has an elite level season? A great season? I don't know. I think he throws for like twenty six touchdowns, fifteen picks. That's what I think Jameis does. And for that in the NFC, I don't think that gets you into the playoffs. If Michael Thomas, Jarvis Landry, and Olave with Kamara they stay healthy all season. It's a long shot to ask of Michael Thomas, but I'm manifesting. If they stay healthy, Jameis can definitely have 30 plus. Well, it's not crazy to say that. Yeah, he, he has 30 and 30 interceptions. That, no, he and I think that the interceptions in a pass, the 15 in a interceptions, pass heavy offense. The 15 intercept it could definitely be pass heavy. You have Michael Thomas, Jarvis Landry to receive this offense the reception machine. This offense is not going to be as pass heavy as Bruce Arians. It wasn't of pass, pass no. heavy last year, even with Jameis. But James. why would it be? Even with Jameis, it wasn't. My point being is, why would it be? You had Marquez Callaway as your wide receiver one. Now you have Michael Thomas, Jarvis Landry, Chris Olave. It's completely new offense. Yeah, that's true. And he had Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and uh, Adam Humphreys in in Tampa. Okay, Michael Thomas... We can we can all agree here better than Michael than Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Oh, uh, right now, prime, I'm not, but not right no, now. I'm right now I'm not ready to say that. Okay, fine. Yeah. But let's can we just, let's say we have healthy Michael Thomas. Okay, he's 28 years old still. He's not a, he's not a geezer. He's actually the same age as Mike Evans. If I'm They're both 29. Correctly. Okay, I would, okay, regardless, I would take Mike Evans over MC right. this year. Me too. Because he has Brady, I can yes. I can I can, I can level with you there. Uh, Let me just ask you something. Okay. I do think MT's better. And you would James, probably take Godwin over absolutely, MT. Yeah, absolutely. So. No, whoa, whoa. Godwin over MT? I don't know. Really? I don't know. Are you don't you're you think say Godwin's Jar- better absolutely. than Mike? Bro, Mike Evans? honestly, honestly, I can give you Michael Thomas. It's close. Because he even, can do more. Listen, even if I give you Michael Thomas, the Buccaneers have a better receiving room. Absolutely, because Chris Godwin's a savage. What I'm saying is that you looked at Jameis. He was with the Bucks. He threw 30 interceptions. They went seven and nine. He leaves. They won the Super Bowl the very next year. He was he was the guy holding them back from reaching that type of potential. Brady came and they won. Bro, he had LASIK eye surgery. 
Brady, he can see now. Brady Brady went there and he won in what big time can, addition did they Brady, make? Brady's the best quarterback of all time. Yes, but Brady didn't just take them to a playoff team. He took them as the he he made them the best it's team Brady, in football. Though. It's the best Brady. I know, but Jameis, we're with Jameis, they missed Jameis to Brady. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. that. Nobody's comparing Jameis to Brady. I'm just saying that this team was a playoff caliber team and didn't make it because of Jameis. What are you talking Tampa Bay? The Bucks. And yes. last year, the Saints That's why almost I, made the playoffs yes. without Jameis. No. They started off hot because they were of Jameis. a game away. They lost every game Jameis didn't play, or J- T- Taysom Hill or Jameis didn't play. Yeah, I mean, I don't you think- had Ian Book or oh, no. Trevor Simeon. Dude, I'm just saying this defense is really, really it good, is. and this offense. Do got you have a record ext- next to the Saints? Do you, like he said nine, a, oh, nine, and eight, nine and eight, right? Yeah, that's a borderline wild card team in the NFC. That's gonna be you're gonna be in the hunt for sure. You'll that's probably true. be yeah, they're in the hunt. The I don't, I don't season. have them missing the playoffs outright. They're gonna be a competitive football team. Yeah. But they're going to lose a lot of those I am games. interested a lot of those to see games. who you have as your six and seven seed. All right. If you want, do you want to just name the schedule and not tell you my losses? Sure, sure. It seems like Listen, you do, I, I, had to, I had to edit my, my schedule from when we first did it because MT wasn't projected to play, and that's a huge uh, factor for me. So week one at Atlanta. It's a W. Win. Versus Tampa Bay. Loss. Versus they'll, Tampa Bay. They'll split. That's at home? Yes. They'll split. Yeah, they'll split. But, at, okay. at, at Carolina. That's a win. Versus Minnesota. That's a loss. Okay. I can understand where you're coming from. Versus Seattle. Win. Versus Cincinnati. Loss. I have a loss, too. I have them starting 5-0. and uh, At Arizona. It's about the same. Loss. Right? That's fair. I have them with a the win, but I understand. That's fine. It's at Arizona. Versus Las Vegas. That's a win. I have them losing. Versus Baltimore. That's a loss. I do have them losing That's also. That's four losses. At Pittsburgh. That's a win. I agree. Versus the Rams. That's a loss. I agree. At San Fran. That's a loss. Six losses right now. Interesting. I have them winning that game. At Tampa Bay. Loss. I have them losing. That's by, seven. By week. Atlanta. W. Win. At Cleveland. What week is that? That's week 18, 17, 16. That's a loss. Deshaun Because of Deshaun, back. really? Yeah, Deshaun's back. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's a great defense to go up against to be in your third, sec- second or third week back. Yeah, but the Browns have a great defense. Miles Garrett can win DPOY. Okay. I'm not saying that they're not, but I'm just saying that. And you have one of the top mediocre. defense. You have the Browns have one of the top offensive lines. Yep. And they have Deshaun Watson. He's back. Okay. I mean, listen, we got to see what Deshaun we get. I I definitely can understand where you're coming from. At Philadelphia, that can be a loss. I have that's them loss. losing versus Carolina. I have them winning. That's a win. That yeah, but that's for me eight to nine losses. I have for them. What it's, you have, Drew? I have them going eleven and six. Wow. Okay. Win I, the division? No. You got the Bucks. I have the Bucks winning. You got the Bucks. But can I wins? see them going ten and seven or something like Say that? One more time. You have the yeah. Bucks with twelve wins. I do. Okay. But for me, I just look. I think the Jameis fact is real, and the same way you've talked about how the Vikings defense has to prove it to you, this quarterback has to prove it to me. But the only reason why I have a hard time sitting with this is because. You have been a, a huge advocate of Jameis Winston for years. Huge. I love Jameis Winston, bro. <laughs> but th- this would have been the perfect year to, to back him up. Now he right has now. Michael Thomas, Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry, who left a bad situation with Baker Mayfield and whatever situation, whatever quarterback they had after him, Case Keenum. I'm not going to continue to go uh, to down the list of quarterbacks that they had. But now Jarvis Landry is in a new situation. He's been killing it in training camp. And Chris Olave, who is the favorite right now to win Offensive Rookie of the Year, with Alvin Kamara, who's not going to be hurt. The one thing you could say is they lost to Ron Armstead, and Penning is going to be hurt. That hurts. No Absolutely. I don't really. And Sean I, Payton. I don't. Massive. I honestly don't care about Penning. I really do. I'm just saying that they lost to Ron Armstead. No, a, that's a, the, one of the best huge. left tackles that in the is game. Huge. Yeah, yeah. The Bucks have an insane schedule. They do. Twelve wins. I've soured them a bit. The injuries that keep happening. The interior offensive line. We know if there's one way to get to Brady, it's going to be that way. Absolutely. And. Godwin, but he's not afraid to dump it to to Fournette. He's not. No, I saw they also want to lessen his workload. I did see and that for me, because Rashad White is capable. For me, I'm just going to say that I have I have the Bucks actually at 13 wins. I wow. think they're at stacked. They're stacked at most positions, and <coughs> they're one of those teams that right now you look at them and there's definitely some concerns. But I think they're they're going to get better over time. You're going to have Godwin more healthy. Absolutely. You're like he's already team, practicing without a yeah, brace. This team over time is going to add pieces because they're going to get healthier and healthier. And I think over the course of the season, this team gets better. And I think they're going to get off to a pretty good start. 
Now, I know that Saints fans have been in our comments, and I understand people may think I'm down on them. I like the Saints a lot. I can see them going to the playoffs. I'm not ruling that out because I do think their defense is that elite. David Onyemata, who you guys were laughing at the other day, he's one of the top defensive tackles in football. Marcus Davenport, Cameron Jordan, I love this team. It's just the Jameis factor is real. There aren't, outside of Ryan Tannehill, there hasn't been a first-round pick quarterback to change teams and have success. It's just been Ryan Tannehill. And now people are expecting Jameis Winston to do it. I think he's capable of doing it. But will he? That's a big question mark. We're talking about a turnover machine. Like, it wasn't a turnover machine in the, in the small sample games. size. Yes, but for his career, he's been a yes. turnover yes. machine. But he has LASIK eye surgery 30. now. Come on, he can you. see the I'm, field I'm not, now. Not like the Sa- not Saints, I think right now Saints fans are in this honeymoon phase with Jameis, and they're telling themselves, yo, this guy, first overall pick for a reason, all this other stuff. Until he starts costing you a game in week six and he throws two picks, he throws a pick six in the fourth quarter and you lose, then believe, they'll, they'll understand. I believe. I know, I'm surprised. He's the biggest Jameis fan at this you table. You really caught me off guard with that. I'm very confused. Look, I love Jameis Winston. I t- I've said this multiple times. You sure times. you love him? I Doesn't love Jameis like And the only him. reason why, and like I said this before, Michael Thomas is going to be on the field. Jarvis Landry. Chris Olave. Bro, Alvin Kamara. Look, if we're talk- look, it's probably the most complete offense he's is, ever had. This is... Hmm. All right, <laughs> it's, not, it's not it's not ridiculous. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Never had an Alvin Kamara. <laughs> it's just for me, like ever. Th- if this was another quarterback that's coming from a shitty situation, Tough. I understand. But Jameis is coming from a team that had a lot of offensive weapons around him. Yes. yearly. They also like, drafted yearly. Worfs the year that they brought in Brady. Yeah, I know that was a huge get. That's one of the best. But linemen even in, that in year, the game. that year when Jameis threw thirty for thirty, he. The yeah, offensive line, offensive the offensive line. line was yeah. ranked top yeah. 10. No, for sure. Listen, I'm not saying that they didn't have a solid team because obviously I'd be ignorant. But at the same time, just worse was one of the better draft picks of know, that season. But you brought in worse. And, and you got Brady. Like, it's Brady. Of course that they were going to not, so, not, of course it was a lock. Yes, but what I'm saying is that Jameis cost them games that year. Every, like, he cost them games. He was losing them games. Let Ooh. me ask you a question. Like, all 30 picks Does were Kirk, his wait, fault. Wait, wait, Does so Kirk wait, wait, Cousins wait, wait, go to wait, Tampa Bay and I, I, win a championship? No. Kirk Cousins? No. Kirk Cousins, does he go to Tampa Bay the year that Brady won and win a chip? He makes the playoffs, though. Do they so, win a championship? No. I have a Look question. It, it's the Brady effect. But honestly, bro, I can't. Outside of Tom Brady, there aren't many quarterbacks I would say go to that team and win a championship instantly. But I know that all those quarterbacks make the, make the playoffs. So, they make the playoffs. Jameis did not. So, I agree. Uh, Moran, you said Winston is a turnover machine and he cost him games. So, where did this unwavering faith from the moment you watched him be a turnover machine and a guy who cost him game, where did this faith come that he could be a franchise quarterback? Because I love, watched that. I love Jameis Winston's personality. <laughs> I do. It's just a general question. All right. I think his personality. I think, I think his personality. Look, I, I, he's one of those guys I root for, and yeah, I would ha- I would happily. Be wrong about Jameis Winston, Respect. but you look at that thirty for thirty oh, season. I, I remember thirty of those interceptions were his fault. No, thirty is insane. insane. Like no. they were his fault. There's actually a There's no compilation of all his thirty interceptions. He could not see. He did get LASIK eye you're, surgery. You're a fucking NFL player. How don't you? I don't disagree. Correct? I mean, it's like year six, bro. Yeah, it I wasn't think, like year two either. Like, and bro, listen, I, I think there's this optimistic faith around the Saints, not just because they have a good team, because we know they have a good team, but. Because I think I'm not the only person that just wants to see Jameis Winston succeed. 